I'm, I'm coming to you from the northern part of Israel in the place called the Golan Heights. Now in the Old Testament, it is called the Golan Heights, but it's also called the area of Bashan. Why is it important? I am standing at a place called Nimrod's Fortress, and it happens to be near the border of Syria and Lebanon, which is directly behind me. You can actually see into Lebanon from here, a small village in Lebanon. But it's what's below in this valley that is interesting to me as it relates to Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39, which is the famous prediction of Bible prophecy of the war of Gog of Magog. The scriptures tell us that there will be a coalition of nations. In fact, they will be Islamic nations. You have Ethiopia, you have Libya, you have Persia, you have Tagarma, you have a number, Gomer, a number of nations mentioned. Uh, some of those nations happen to be related to Turkey or perhaps the area of Southern Russia, as well as nations in the Middle East. And they will come on the mountains of Israel and in Ezekiel 30 and 39, when you look at the verses together and combine them, they will come into this area and also an area near the Dead Sea on the um, area of Jordan near the northern part of the Dead Sea, what's called the Valley of the Passengers on the east of the sea. So I want to come here and I want to show you this because what we have here is we have Lebanon. That village in the distance is actually Lebanon. You can stand here and see Lebanon. So you see there's not a lot of checkpoints here, but there are military checkpoints on the roads and up on the mountains, all in that direction. That hill, hill over there in that direction, that is also Lebanon. You can see Lebanon in this direction and Syria will be more over to the right of your screen. Now, we also have uh, in this area, and I'm not going to go into the details of it, a lot of Israeli military installations, but this is going to be one of the areas where, for example, Persia, which will have a large army which will be coming in. Of course, we know that biblically from Isaiah, uh, Damascus, Syria uh, will one day be in serious trouble and will actually be destroyed in a battle. And we start looking at some of these places mentioned in the prophetic scripture, but one of the big ones related to the future is this battle of Gog of Magog. So this is the valley that um, actually is in the northern part of Israel. And I, you know, I want you, what I wanted to show you is how large this is and how wide it is. And it is the border directly behind me, as I said a moment ago, of Syria, over here in this direction, also of Lebanon. And this is where the armies will push in from the north country and they will come into this valley. Now, the Lord says in the prophecy of Ezekiel, and you can look at this or read this, that he would send a fire upon them. What's interesting is there are about eight extinct volcanoes in this area. And is it possible that maybe the fire that's going to be sent would not necessarily be missiles, but could it be, for example, volcanic eruptions that would take place with the lava and the, the, the stones and so on that would fall on the area. It also says there'll be an earthquake. Now we do know, without a doubt, that this whole area uh, through here, what we call the Jordan Valley, is a complete earthquake fault line. And there's several fault lines up in this direction as well. And we know that it says that the fish of the sea would, would be shaken. The Sea of Galilee is in this direction, right down between these mountains. This is the way we drove up, as a matter of fact. And so uh, you have the sea being shaken. You have the mountains being shaken. You have the fire that is alluded to there. But I wanted to take you up here and let you see a view that very few people are, have ever seen before as far as on a Holy Land tour, because you have to go very much north. Nimrod's fortress is directly behind us here. And you have to go north to really see this. But this is not only the area of one of the centerpieces of the future, Gog and Magog battle, which is this valley here and the, the mountains, which are called Bashan and the Golan Heights. That's where we're at right now. But it also happens to be one of the first places that Abraham saw the promised land. And that's a whole nother YouTube teaching that you're going to have to watch at some point. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We're going to do a lot of teaching from Israel in the weeks ahead. And man, I don't want you to miss one thing because you're going to get a lot of information and a lot of teaching. So subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up and keep watching for something we want to show you. This is Perry Stone. I am so excited to be able to present to you and your family two of the most exciting audio teachings that I have done in many years. Will Jesus Return by 2033? And the special teaching, The Soon Closing Out of the Church Age. 
Now, I want to talk for a moment and tell you that I'm not predicting the return of Christ in 2033, but I am saying to you that it is the most pivotal transitional date that we have encountered in our lifetime and in modern history. And I'm going to show you why that 2033 is the most important prophetic date in the prophetic cycle. And we're gonna talk about God's calendar and God's timing and the events surrounding where we are going in the distant future. I also want to present to you a very special teaching, the soon closing out of the church age. The church age is also known as the dispensation of the grace of God, and it will eventually come to a conclusion, Christ's return. Then the wrath of God is going to be globally released in what is called the Great Tribulation. Now on this two audio CD series, you will discover details on how, why, and when this major prophetic transition will occur. Man, this is a very powerful message. It is filled with fascinating new insight, and it provides keys to understanding soon coming events. Now you can now get both of these audio CD messages. There are four CDs, four hours of teaching for your love gift of $30 or more. We really need your help to keep manifest on the air. The way that you order this special teaching is by going to perrystone.org and ordering online or call 1-888-21-BREAD toll free and order that way. Or you can also write me at Perry Stone P.O. Box 3595, Cleveland, Tennessee 37320. Now when you call or write, you have to request offer number PR-138. And it is the special brand new prophecy updates. We're hoping to hear from you and we just pray that God will continue to bless you. If you enjoyed this YouTube content, there's an important website you should know about, perrystone.org. Perrystone.org is an essential resource for the latest books, audiovisual presentations, and digital products from Perry Stone Ministries, resources that cover the same kinds of topics discussed in the program you just watched. Stop in and see all that's available at perrystone.org.